February 4th, 2021. Congressional Democrats and the Biden administration barreled ahead on Wednesday with a $1.9 trillion economic rescue package, even as they signaled a limited willingness to scale back direct payments for Americans in hopes of attracting Republican support. Mr. Biden suggested Wednesday that he might be open to restricting eligibility for a centerpiece of his plan. $1,400 stimulus checks to many Americans in a manner Republicans had proposed, but not to parent back the value of the checks. With new elections planned this spring, Hamas will struggle to campaign as a scrappy underdog that is above trading its principles for material comforts. It remains to be seen whether the elections decreed by President Mahmoud Abbas will actually be held. Much depends on whether his secular Fatah party and Hamas can reach some kind of agreement overcoming the bitter divisions that had prevented previous attempts to hold a vote. This will be the first time since 2006 that the Palestinian people will be going to the voting booth. The military of Myanmar has officially announced formal charges against Suu Kyi. She is being charged with being in possession of illegally imported walkie-talkies. The charge carries a maximum sentence of three years in prison. While the charge may sound absurd, it's a way for the military to manipulate the law to create a guise to continue detaining Suu Kyi. The ousted leader is currently under house arrest in her home in Myanmar's capital. Three Idaho Army National Guard personnel were killed after their UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter crashed south of the Lucky Peak near Boise shortly after 8 p.m. Officials said in a news release all three personnel aboard were pilots with the Idaho Army National Guard participating in a routine training flight. The aircraft was lost in contact at 7.45 p.m. The emergency transmitter locator device aboard the aircraft was activated shortly after 8 p.m. and recovery procedures were initiated. You can't defend this country if you don't train. And I just ask everyone to think about them. Everyone that serves, uh, particularly the, the Idaho National Guard and what they do every day and the risks that they take. New York City Health Commissioner Dr. Dave Choksi said Wednesday he tested positive for COVID-19. The health commissioner said he has mild but manageable symptoms. Choksi was announced as New York City's health commissioner in August, taking the helm in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, following the resignation of Dr. Oxyris Barba. 